Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna mess around with my Scourge Warlock today. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a Paragon Path for him. It's about time. Almost to what, level 46? <laughs> yeah, it's a little while past time here. That's okay. I'm not much present, right? Alright, let's start with this. Let's increase some of those ability scores. I want to focus on uh, Constitution and Charisma. Yeah. Uh, mainly because constitution helps increase damage. Uh, like the, I'm a DPS guy. I just uh, like to do damage to what I can. And uh, charisma, uh, I'm uh, also like to focus on my critical chances, and that will help to increase that. Also gives me a combat advantage bonus. Those are the two main things I'm looking at there. So let's go ahead and pump some points into here. Let me go ahead and distribute those equally. about time, huh? <laughs> Say, yeah. Okay, except that. I am sure. Alright. I'll help speed us on our way. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to here. Now I have the choice for Hellbringer, and I have a choice for Soulbringer. I like to do DPS. Um, there are advantages to both of these. I'm not going to get into this a whole lot right now because Really, I'm not level 70. If you've never done this uh, type of thing before, don't worry. If you mess it up, uh, you can farm for some Astro Diamonds, buy yourself a respec token, and uh, reset all those points. So don't worry too much about it. Um, so I'm going to, today, I'll go with Hellbringer. Why? <laughs> why do you ask? Doesn't matter why. Don't ask. Now, uh, why I'm just uh, I don't know it had some spells I like in it. Uh, it the problem is Ark keeps messing with all the classes. Uh, you'll find that as you play with the game, um, I've got several characters, a uh, few that I like more than others. But uh, I like to have a well-rounded group uh, that way I can kind of bounce around. Uh, if they change things in a big way that I really hate, uh, I can just switch characters from one to another. So. Um, Really, this is one I looked at uh, with the Mod 10 build. Uh, there have, again, been some changes. I uh, just decided to go with that one. I kind of like what I have seen uh, with it. Uh, so I'm going to try it and play with it and see what happens. Um, so that's my thinking with it. So now we will go ahead and switch over here to... You know what, I'm going to jump over to feats first before I get into powers. Okay, start out here. I'm going to go ahead and increase some toughness down at the bottom. It increases maximum hit points. These are pretty handy later on. Go ahead and take that up to three. Like I said, you can always change these later if you aren't happy with it. We'll get in here and uh, play with it a little bit. See what you think. I'm a critical chance guy, so I'm going to go ahead and pump some points into here. Throw a three into there. Yeah, I'm never too worried about stamina. This is good. Obviously, anytime you can do more damage with your encounter powers, it's good to throw some points into there for that. Last threat. That's not really something I worry too much about. Okay, that sets us up with that for now. Too worried about action point gain. Okay, determine Cassie. Now I'm going to put uh, a bunch of points into here. Anytime you can reduce your cooldowns, that's a good thing. Pays off, especially as you level up. And uh, blood pact. I'm going to throw a couple points in here. Again, it's all about the damage. Ooh, look at that. It increases damage to it, but nah. Let's tie me to that. Critical severity. Yeah, now that's a good one. Go ahead and add a bonus into that. 
All right. Yeah, that's good. I can make those changes so far. Ah, that's good. All right. Now, I'm going to go with a Fury build. Uh, and I'm looking for damage per second or DPS. So that's why I'm focusing on that. Okay, critical promise. Now I feel about critical. Really, after a critical hit, uh, your next attack will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% of your weapon damage is neurotic damage. Good thing. Okay, so Gates of Hell now deals more damage. That's pretty good stacks here. Now here's where you can get some of those action points uh, if you want to push those. That's why I didn't choose it earlier. So I'm going to add some points into this. Okay, okay, go ahead and throw some points in Infernal Wrath. And over here into Hell Touched. What for right now? Go ahead and split this up. All right, that's what we've got. Yes, I am sure. All right, this is as much of a how-to as just showing how I'm distributing those. In case you're interested in checking that out. Yeah, let's go on over here to powers. Increasing those. I explained in the previous episodes of some of my other characters. Um, a lot of these points just have to be spent. Um, you'll feel like you're wasting them, but in order to go up to the next level um, to get into some of the better stuff, you have to use the points. Uh, so I know it feels like a waste in some cases, but um, I mean, you have to use them. So, let's see. Well, let me throw any points in here. Yet. They said we have to spend some points just to sort of level up through here, so... Seems wasteful, but hey, it's just the way it is. Again, this isn't something I really want, but just have to spend those points. So I to be with rank 3, 20 points spent, if I can move those up. So, let's just keep spending. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, now. There we go. That. That. Now we're doing some kick butt, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Take a little hand of light. Why? Because it's cool, that's why. <laughs> Neurotic damage is always good. Alright. Let's keep moving. Okay, I want Fiery Bolt too. It'll be nice to start doing some damage again. Major damage. Yeah. 
Okay, really at this point now I just have to blow some of the some of this stuff out because I really don't care. <laughs> Hate to say it. Just a wasteful though, right? Pillar of power. Ready for that yet? Yeah, okay, here we go. Now we're into some good stuff. Basically, uh, what this does, I mean, you can read it, obviously, but uh, you can create a conduit of power at your location. While you stand in the conduit, your damage and damage resistance are increased, which is a good thing. So that's why I wanted that. And flames of empowerment. Make one of these. This is my personal. Um, when you attack a target with your at will powers, they're affected by flames of empowerment for six seconds. And this increases the damage you deal to the target by 2% and stacks three times, which is pretty cool. And I want this. Ha ha. Something pretty good. My little Scourge Warlock's life just changed. For the better. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try them out now. I'm fired up. Sad thing is, I really don't want any of this other stuff. It's terrible. But it's true. Go ahead and switch this around. I want to make this active. Um, there we go. Active. I want this active too. Get that one there. Swap that out. Very nice. See, I don't know if I want to get rid of any of these. This is a problem now. Yeah, use them all. yeah I'll get rid of this. Oh, I'm so excited. This is awesome. I just got myself a new man. I'm going to hang on to those other points. Just because I can't stand it. Go ahead and move this up a little bit. I'm just hanging on to this for a while right now. There's some other things I want, but um, they really don't take effect till later. Uh, but this increases my run speed by 10% and uh, defect and life steal chances by 2. It's not great, but I want to uh, go ahead and use that. So that's where we're at with this. Okay, you know what? There is one other thing I saw that opened up here that I wanted. Tyrannical Curse. Uh, it basically places a curse on the target, dealing damage, and then uh, the good thing about this is uh, it increases the damage they receive from you by 20%. So that's pretty good. Alright, so I want to go ahead and make this active too. About a cursed skull. Souls for this. Now I'm a new one. Now let's go play. See what happens. Wow. Man, I can't wait. This is so cool. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, if you have any comments, please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about things so far. I'll keep leveling up. Uh, you can follow the journey with me. Appreciate you checking it out. And uh, I'll be back to you soon. Please comment, definitely. And uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Have a good night.